So tonight at the National Press Club in Washington might be one of the funniest things that's ever happened. Uh, this anti-fascism -fa group, this Disrupt Day 20 group, was trying to do some big reveal on Project Veritas. They even wrote a press release announcing they were going to release damaging information, the names of my undercover reporters, etc. So we're anticipating this press conference. They get to the National Press Club, and they're not let in. Security won't let them in. So they go to a, a nearby food court, try to have a press conference, and they, they try to break it up. So they go to this table and, and bring reporters to the table. For anyone who's still hanging on to the idea that this is a press conference, let me introduce our next speaker. Um, <laughs> and as they're having the press conference, they, they're, they're taking out the iPad to apparently not release to anything new, but some photo from six years ago that has already been released. There's pornographic, <laughs> there's pornographic images, there's, there's porn tabs they've left open on their iPad as they're trying to show the reporters. So the article comes out and it's just talking about the porn that's on their iPad. So uh, so we've, we've floated this um, picture around at one point where, what the hell? These people are, are dangerous and violent. Sometimes they're, they unintentionally bring joy into my life. I just wanna say thank you, Lauren Windsor and Undercurrent and anti-fascist and Daryl Lamont and Jenkins and all these people, um, keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> I, 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 I'm dying. I, I, I think I laughed for a solid 10 minutes when I saw the article uh, at Daily Caller.